up first, it's the Micromax and Micro Rookie pre-final. Ten minutes plus two additional laps, here's your starting grid. After qualifying this, this morning, Niki Naruhito Tomasi will start from pole position. Alongside him will be Germany's Dimitar Lazarov on the front row. Ryan Ramper, Darath and Connor Halfer, the recently crowned Micromax German champion in the RMC divisions, lines up on row two. Noah Stehada, Bruce Chirino and Matthias Clever, who I know for a fact, thanks to his dad this morning, who told me uh, that there are some family in Brazil watching along. So welcome along. Uh, to our friends over the uh, the other side of the Atlantic Ocean. We go on to the official formation lap. Now, a little bit of familiarisation. We had had a little bit of a summer break. Well, Chrono Karting has had a summer break. I haven't. <laughs> More to the point. If there is a second full start, the counter will continue running to time. So, air atmospherics at the moment. 17 degrees Celsius, 68% humidity, 9 kilometer an hour wind, which is to a south-southeasterly direction, which is close to 5.5 miles an hour. 25% uh, possible chance of rain, but we have had a lot of blue sky today. So, at the moment, battling for the tickets are Ryan Rampadarath and Niki Narahito Tomasi. One ticket in Micromax to be given away this weekend as we are five weeks away from the grand finals. So the drivers make their way through the chicane onto the far part of the circuit. The circuit measures in length 1,030 metres. The drivers are very much into formation very early by Marshall Post number six. This is our second visit to the uh, circuit as they go through the cutoff area. Revs rise and we are underway. And the field makes its way through the fast right hander at turn number one. One of the uh, Praga chassis runs a little bit wide. That might have been possibly Conor Halfer as they head into turn two through this triangle base section. Bruce Chinino has been overtaken already by Mateus Clever in the number 13 on the TB cart. They both swap positions again through at turn number three. Dimitar Lazarov was the one that ran a little bit wide, but Niki Narahito Tomasi leads the way. Second, it is Ryan Rampadarath. Looks like uh, Conor Halfer has moved up one place and is currently P3 as they'll head into the stadium section at the far part of the circuit, just off of the main cafeteria area. So it's a triple right and then into the left hander. They're going to be accelerating out of the penultimate corner through the left. And Narahito Tomasi leads the way. Rampadarath in second. Alpha in third. Fourth Stehada. Lazarov has dropped to fifth. They're starting to gain ground. Rampadarath is trying to put the frightness on Narahito Tomasi through into turn number two. Great move there on Stehada by Lazarov. That's up into fourth. Goes the number 69 driver from Germany. Now into the infield section again off of uh, Marshall Post number four. So through into turn five. And now into the chicane, a quick flick to the left and then to the right, really having to be composed and uh, keep yourselves away from the curbing. You know, I've seen it before where some drivers have uh, straight lined that part of the circuit and uh, ended up uh, being compromised as a direct result. Uh, Nicky Narahito Tomas is getting some cheers in, uh, courtesy of Arthur Ray Karting, uh, the Duke of Holland on YouTube. Thank you so much. Bring your comments in, folks. We want to hear who you're supporting. But at the moment, Niki Narahito Tomasi, with eight minutes plus an additional two laps to go, is leading. But the top four are closing on in. Halfa and Lazarov are not that far behind the two in front. So Narahito Tomasi, Rampadarath, Halfa and Lazarov, they round out the top four after what was two laps of racing. We're on lap number three. Lazarov's the fastest one out there, 50.23. Six was the lap time set by the number 69 from Germany. They come back into the stadium section once again, through into the double left, now into the triple right. Very much echoes uh, a particular circuit called Istanbul Park. You might remember that one in Formula One, but it's the other way around. Narahito Tomasi has now started to build a little bit of a gap here. Four tenths is the advantage that Narahito Tomasi has after three laps. Now into turn number two again on lap four. So the way things stand at the moment, Conor Halfer and Ryan Rampa Darath tied on 311 points each after two drop scores taken into consideration. Niki Narahito Tomasi just six points adrift at the moment. 
but if Rampa Tarath and Tomasif finish as they are right now, well, that gap will shrink by two points uh, between the pair. Alpha will pick up actually going to be three points because it's uh, 55 for a win, 52 for second, 50 for third place. So that'll put Alpha on 361. Van Padanath, that'll put him on 363. Uh, Tomasa will be on 360 points. So effectively after that, Rampa Dadath would then become the championship leader by just two points. So 40% of the race down, 60% to go, plus those two important additional laps at the end of the race. And Narahita Tomase is doing a very, very good one. Elisabega uh, graphic, the graphic design saying, Come on, Batman. And that is obviously talking about Bruce Chirino, I'm sure, down in sixth place. And Bruce currently running in sixth position at the moment. 1.3 seconds off of race leader Niki Narahito Tomase. Could have been in the look there from Dimitar Lazarov on teammate Connor Halfer. As they go now into turn three, down a little bit of a slight compression through that part of the circuit. Now through past Marshall, post number four at turn four. Now into the left here at five. Turn six and seven next up through this very fast flowing chicane. You can see how hard they're carrying that momentum and trying to avoid the curves. You really need to uh, park it on the racing line. Now another chicane that comes up through past Marshall, post number seven. Then the final uh, triple right before the left hander that brings them back onto the start finish track. Half time is now hit here in this 10 minute plus two additional lap pre-final. And Lazaroff is closing on Halfa through into T1. Might get the run down into two very quickly. They're about a tenth apart. And Halfa holds his line. Lazaroff doesn't chance it. Knows there's a few more minutes to go in this race. Fastest lap of the race so far on lap six. Ryan Rampadarath, who started to close that gap onto Niki Narahito Tomasi. And if Rampadanath picks up a maximum score in this race with no post-race penalties, that'll put him on 366 points. Uh, then Tomasi would then be on 357. But because of the fact that Halfer could be battling away with uh, Lazarov all race long, it's giving the opportunity to Tomas here. This is going to be the overtake that uh, Lazarov has been waiting for and has gotten through. That's third place now for the number 69 and gets through on teammate Connor Halfer. So now it is going to be the case of what can these two drivers do? Is it going to be the case that Lazarov is going to pull Halfer along and then we could see a quartet of a scrap at the front end of the field. Well, with the way things stand at the moment, that gap between Rampa Darath and Lazarov might be slightly expanding. It was 1.1 seconds between Rampa Darath and Halfa last time around. Out of the final corner, lap eight completed, and Narahito Tomasi, 0.27 ahead. Another new fastest lap by Ryan Rampa Darath. He knows that he's got to keep Narahito Tomasi in his eyesight, but the more important thing is that with three minutes to go, plus those two additional laps, Rampa Darath has got to start ramping things up. And what I mean by that is pick up the pace, and that started to happen. If uh, Tomasi makes an unforced error, then Rampa Darath will be through very quickly. But sometimes that is easier said than done. The leaders make their way through into the stadium section here at Circuit de Lansard. We're literally about five, six minutes away from Eindhoven Airport. Uh, Arthur Ray Karting saying, nice overtake. I'm sure you're uh, saying about uh, Lazaroff on Halfa just a couple of laps ago. And well, Lazaroff has pulled away from Halfa and is uh, about eight tenths of a second, seven or eight tenths of a second up the road. But Rampa Danath is keeping within three and a half tenths of uh, Narahito Tomasi. So, Tomasi on the CRG, Rampa Danath on the Kart Republic. Then Lazarov and Halfer both on Praga. Praga uh, IPK Praga, uh, one of the chassis partners for this year's Rotax Max Challenge Grand Finals. 
Last time that the grand finals visited Sarno was back in 2019. Since then, uh, two trips to uh, the Persian Gulf in Bahrain and also another trip down to the Algarve at Portimao. But this race could be a grandstand finish at the way things are going. Rampa Dadath has uh, got that gap down to two tenths and has broken four underneath 49 seconds for the first time this race. 48.965. Rampa Dadath has got to put everything on the line here. And then some when it comes to the final a little bit later on. has got to do everything in his power to keep... Narahito Tomasi very, very close in proximity through the chicane once again. A minute and ten still to go. So about three minutes time. We'll find out our winner of the Micromax pre-final here at Circuit de Lanzard. And Rampa Danath is not letting Narahito Tomasi go. Out of the final corner. Gap last time was two tenths. Now it's nearly two and a half. It's only a case of not if, it's when does Ryan Rampadaraf get through on Niki Narahito Tomasi. Well, Narahito Tomasi is not making it easy. Parking it on the racing line, which the race leader has the right to do. Through once again into the chicane. It's been very, very close uh, between these two drivers. Dimitar Lazarov. Uh, has also broken the 49-second bracket. So has the race leader, uh, Narahito Tomasi, 48.997. Rampa Darath has done a 48.965. Lazarov, 48.953. So, three laps to go, including this one. Time is now expired. And Narahito Tomasi is only two tenths ahead of Rampa Darath in the dying stages of this pre-final. A great battle between these two. But it could come down to the final as to which one of these drivers gets the opportunity to race for Team Netherlands at the grand finals. Through the chicane for the second from last time. Rampa Dadath is really closing that gap. It's less than a cart length. And he's using different lights of the racing line to try and get the overspeed. Now coming through into the final corner. Two laps remain for the race leaders. Tomasi, Rampadara, tenth and a half apart. Lazarov, way back, about 1.8 seconds. And now, oh, Rampadara had a look going into turn two there on the penultimate lap of the race. And now look at the overspeed coming into turn number three, the right hander. And it's next to nothing. You could probably put another front bumper in between the rear of Tomasi, the front of Rampadara. Now through out of the next left hander into the chicane, we go for the penultimate time. Rampa Dada is throwing everything, including the kitchen sink at this one, as the sun begins to shine once again on the circuit here, in, uh, just outside of the uh, centre of Eindhoven. But last lap underway, Tomasi still leads. Rampa Dada has got just under 1,000 metres to try and put something special in the works here. Down into turn two. Tomasi still leads, but Rampa Dadath, would he get a better exit out of the corner? He might be able to outbreak Tomasi into turn three and gets to within a cart length. Now into turn number five for the last time. Through the chicane they will go. It's, near, it's nip and tuck between the pair. Through into the stadium section, the triple right coming up, and then the final left-hander, Rampa Darath, is looking to run to the line and try and make it a drag race. Tight to the apex go the pair, but it is Niki Narahito Tomasi by 0.179 of a second that wins the pre-final. 15 laps completed, 12 minutes and 20 of racing action there. But Niki Narohito Tomasi, the number 25, takes the win after 15 laps. Great battle between Niki Narohito Tomasi and Ryan Rampadarath. Dimitar Lazarov rounds out the top three, ahead of Connor Halfa, Noah Stehada, Bruce Chirino, and Mateus Clever, with Ryan Rampadarath setting the fastest lap of the race 
on lap number 13 with a 48.787. But Tomasi once again on great form.